Good morning, everybody. Hi, Charlotte. Good morning, Ken. We are in a doctor's office. That's very obvious to you as you look around. They pretty much all look alike. A bed, a bed, a stool, and a TV screen, and a few simple instruments. Hershey Medical Center. Hershey Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here for a consultation with who? Uh, with Dr. Armstrong, a uh, trauma orthopedic surgeon here in Hershey, mm -hmm. who does shoulders and elbows. So, uh, what are we consulting Dr. Armstrong about today? Well, I met her a few years ago when um, I had this shoulder done and it did not turn out well. And so I've already met her a few years ago mm -hmm. and today she's talking to me about the surgery on this shoulder because I have everything torn up that I could tear up, yep. I have torn. Uh -huh. Muscles are torn in there and... Uh... and the, tendon down here, yeah. everything they said yeah. is torn, shredded, and frayed. Well, that's the reality of it. And so if you're uh, gonna do it, do it up right. There you go. Mm -hmm. And they were just in here and asked you what your pain level was. And sitting here, you told them what? A three. Uh-huh. Well, I'm your husband and pastor. I wanna ask you a question that, um, <laughs> I want to ask it for the folks out there that are watching this morning on Rise and Shine because uh, we want them to be involved with our journey. What's your peace level? A 10 plus. <laughs> is that rehearsed or is that reality? No, that's reality. You've made up your mind? I have peace about this. Mm -hmm. well, that's wonderful. You mean in the middle of the storm that the Lord could give you peace? Yes, because... I know that he loves me more than anyone could love me. And so I know that he has my best interest at heart. That's great. Um, he would not do anything to jeopardize my good. And so I would love to have Dr. Armstrong do my surgery. However, she is scheduled um, out to March of 2023. So they've given me uh, the name of another surgeon uh, who has trained under Dr. Armstrong, who I will meet on Friday. We come back up here. So uh, I put it in the Lord's hands. Whoever he wants to do the surgery, it'll be fine. That's, that's a big deal right there. Mm -hmm. Put it into God's hands. Uh, you know, we could just all do that with every issue in our life. Mm -hmm. Things would be better. You really would. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Ken. You know, we need to be careful when we pray and ask the Lord for something because sometimes we have our mind made up of how we want him to answer. Right. But when we can get to the place and say, thy will be done, that's when we get the peace. That's right. And your favorite verse comes into play that, here. That's when we get the peace. That's right. <laughs> Your favorite verse comes into play here, doesn't it, Charlotte? Yes. Go Psalm ahead. 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. Something and good will come out of this. It, the waiting sometimes is so difficult. And I think of all the years that that has been my verse. You'd think I'd learn it by now. Sometimes we just need to be still. We're not asking for pity or anything uh, from anybody. Oh, it? I know. That's not what we're, why we're broadcasting. No, listen. Uh -huh. what, what I'm having done can be fixed. Yeah. But there's people going through stuff that they don't know can be fixed. That's right. And so I feel very blessed. That's great. Yeah. And so uh, we just really want to send our love out there to everybody and, mm -hmm. and keep everybody in the loop because uh, everybody asks. So, uh, yeah, and so well. people ask me, um, you look tired. Uh, I am tired. I am, I don't get much sleep a couple hours a night. So, yes, I'm tired, but that does not mean that I'm not doing well. Right, <laughs> right. 
just turn around a little bit. Let me see the scar on your right arm from having. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Can you see that? Oh, I can see it. Yeah. It's um. That didn't turn out too good. I want to make that really clear. Oh, that, that one didn't turn yeah. out good. I want to make it really clear that's not. That's not what this one's going to be. No, and that that wasn't done by Doctor Armstrong either. Oh no. No. <laughs> so. Um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So, uh, what would you like to say to our Rise and Shine family? Uh, I'm, I know that there's people praying for hard stuff right now. Some tough stuff going on in your life. Just be still and know that He is God. And when it's the right time, the Lord will have the right answer for your problem. And you might not even recognize that until years down the road. If it wouldn't have been for this mess up, I wouldn't be here today to see Dr. Armstrong. So sometimes it's it can even be years till we really see God's fulfillment. But just be still and you will find out he is God. That's right, because he definitely is. That's right. And to all the people hurting, Mm -hmm. Send your love out to him, Sean. I do. I send my love and I pray for you. Um, I wish that there was more that I could do for so many of you. But please know, uh, we pray together. Our, our hearts are in unison when we pray for you. And um, I believe that God is still doing miracles today. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, this is a roving reporter and <laughs> <laughs> your friendly pastor from Mountaintop, Ken Reed, who uh, God's given us a wonderful crew there to, to work with, it's a wonderful team to work, and we've had a great service this past Sunday, and God's mm -hmm. doing great things. Pastor Ron preached so good on Sunday, and yes, uh, thank God, thank God, and uh, we're excited about what's in store, and uh, God's going to bring something good out of this. Do you believe that? Oh, I certainly do. Amen. So, uh, mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. we believe that you are a miracle-working God, and we confess that and believe it and thank you for it. And I ask you to touch every person that's hurting today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God's got this.